Okay, I think because my wife is live streaming right now, and then I had another device live streaming, the video paused. Okay. All right, let me know if everybody's good. If you guys can hear me. Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, let's get this started. So I'm gonna go back to our notes and let's see, okay. Um, if you guys look at your notes, I'm gonna go through this page with you. I'm gonna put it on the whiteboard and then I'm also gonna go through the other side, this back page. That's the goal today is to get through completing the square. Tomorrow we're going to do the same thing, completing the square. It's the top part, so we'll spend two digital days on it. So the, uh, tomorrow we'll go through these two examples. Um, and then I'll, afterwards, I'll see if you guys want some help with homework. Then we'll go through that. Oh, I just dropped my cord. Okay. Froggies. Okay. All righty. Let's, uh, let's start Algebra 2 Digital Learning. Yay. Okay, so uh, the first problem is if we have an equation, it's written y equals 2x squared minus 12x plus 6, how do we find out the information about that graph? Well, the first thing we want to do is put this graph into what's called standard form. Standard form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k and in order to get that information we're going to have to find out a h and k and then we can find a whole bunch of other information based off of that so the first step we want to do is we're going to look at this variable in front of the x squared term or whatever term is squared and we're going to factor that out. So we're going to leave the y alone. And I'm going to put a 2 parenthesis x squared and then minus. Now this 12, what we got to do is actually divide by this number here. So if this was 12, I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'm going to put a minus 6x. And then we're going to leave some spacing. So this is called completing the square. This is a technique we did a while ago when we were solving quadratics. So hopefully it's kind of familiar, but here we go. So then we're going to put a plus blank, and we're going to close a parenthesis, and then we have this plus 6 that just kind of hangs on in the end. Now what we need to do here to mathematically work is because we are adding another number here that's going to be multiplied by 2, we need to subtract that same number multiplied by 2. So when you do your problems here, we're going to add this blank in here. And then the other thing you need to add is this extra feature at the end. Okay. So I'll kind of pause so you guys are able to 
um, pause this video or just hold on to it to stop. And remember, I'm going to post these videos on live or I'll leave them on my story. Um, with my calculus, I haven't double checked this, but I am able to save these videos to my Google Drive. So I'm going to also try to share them on Canvas if I can. So you guys can rewatch these and go over them step by step. So what, let's talk about this blank. What number goes in this blank? Okay, this blank number is always going to be this middle number, which is called B, divided by 2 squared. So if we look at this number here, middle number 6 divided by 2, then squared. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we're going to put a 9 here and a 9 here. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to start rewriting this polynomial. So we get y equals 2. And now what's going to happen here is this becomes a perfect square trinomial. And we can actually turn it into a factor trinomial, a squared, by leaving our x term here, by taking the square root of x squared, which is x, and then also taking the square root of 9, which is a 3. But it's not going to be a plus 3. I made a mistake there. This middle sign is going to carry down, and it's going to be a minus 3. Now, we still have the rest of the problem to figure out for our k. And we just got to do this a little bit of math here. So we got plus 6 minus 2 times 9 is 18. So our answer in standard form is 2x minus 3 squared and then minus 12. Okay. So I'm going to just pause there and we're going to break down everything about this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave that formula over here, but I got this other whiteboard so we can go back to this. So these problems always have two parts to them. The first part is to get it into standard form, and the other part is to find the important information. What is our vertex? What is the focus? And what is the directrix? Okay. Well, let's look at this information here. First off, we know that in standard form, and these formulas all go back to our notes. If you actually look at the very front page here, this will tell us what one we're looking at. So we have a y equals problem. So a x minus h k. So a is 2. Looking back at it, h is 3. And then our k is negative 12. So we'll have to kind of keep that in mind here. H is a positive 3. K is a negative 12. So in this formula chart here, it will tell us that the vertex is HK for this problem here. So we're going to look. H is 3. K is negative 12. There's our vertex. Next, I'm going to write this one out. Our focus is h k plus 1 4 a or 1 over 4 a so h k plus 1 over 4 a so i'm going to take a second here and plug those numbers in and simplify it so h is negative or 3 positive 3 k is negative 12 plus 1 over 4 a was 2 so that is 3, and then negative 12 plus 1 eighth. And feel free to use a decimal here. So the answer for the focus would be 3 comma, if you plug that into the calculator, that's negative 11.875. So there's the focus. And then finally, the directrix. We look back at here is y equals k minus 1 over 4a. So I'm going to write that here. y equals k minus 1 over 4a. 
which should look familiar. It's going to be negative 12, but minus 1 over 4 times 2. If we plug that in the calculator, the answer would be y equals negative 12.125. Okay. So there's our first problem in our notes. On pause. And then we'll do the next problem in our notes. So we'll do this next one here. Don't worry about it. It does say, like, find the length of the lattice rectum. Uh, really, that's uh, something for you guys kind of pointless. I just like to put it in, in notes because it has the word rectum in it and makes people giggle. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to do that over distance learning. Find all the information if we got y plus 2x squared plus 32 equals negative 16x minus 1. Okay, so let's repeat the process again. Once again, these videos, um, you guys can pause them if you're not watching this live. Um, you might want to do that, try to solve it on your own and check. Or if you're going back and rewatching it, it's great. Um, okay, so what we need to do is get the variable by itself. Um, to determine which variable we get by itself, you can see x is being squared. So we're going to get the y by itself. So I'm going to minus this 2x squared over. I'm also going to minus the 32 over. And so I'm going to get y equals negative 2x squared and then minus 16x. And then if I minus 32 over to that, that'd be minus 33. Okay. The next step is to factor out the number next to the squared term and put our blanks in. So I'm going to make this a y equals negative 2. Then if I factor out the negative 2 from this, it becomes x squared. A negative 2 divided the negative 16 makes us a plus 8x. We'll put in our blank. We still have the minus 33 here. But if I'm going to add a number times negative 2 over here, I'm going to have to add that same number times positive 2 over here. So that way they cancel each other out. Because in math, you can't just take a number and add it to any equation. All right, what number goes in that blank? Remember, that blank is going to be the middle number divided by 2 squared. So that middle number is 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to put those both in there. So our equation is going to start reducing here, or simplifying. We get 2 and then x Take the square root of that is x, or x squared square root x, and then plus stays in the middle here. Square root of 16 is 4. So you're just reducing those and putting the square term there. And then over here we got a minus 33, and then 2 times 16 is 32. So this equation is negative 2x times x plus, or negative 2 times x plus 4 squared minus 1. Alrighty, so let me go back to this here chart. I'm going to erase the sub. Now, all of these formulas are going to stay the same because it is a y equals. If we had an x equals equation, we'd have slightly different ones we'd have to plug them into. So the vertex, which is at h, k, keep in mind, standard form is y equals a times x minus h plus k. 
So to, if we have a positive 4 here, our vertex is at negative 4. And it's supposed to be plus k here, so that's a negative 1, so negative 1. So the vertex is at negative 4, negative 1. Next, the focus is at h, which is negative 4, k, which is negative 1, plus 1 over 4 times negative 2. So we get, let's see, negative 4, and then we get negative 1, and this is going to become minus 1 eighth. If we plug that in a calculator, it's negative 4, and that'd be negative 1.125. And then lastly, y, we got y equals k, which is negative 1, minus 1 over 4 times negative 2. So that is negative 1 plus 1 eighth, which is, ends up being y equals negative 0 0.875. Okay. So there's the notes. Now, I don't mind helping you guys out with homework help. If somebody wants that, just give me a thumbs up or tell me, and I'll help you guys out with the homework problems. If not, if you guys think you have the hang of it, let's go. So I'll kind of keep this up to you guys for the live sessions. Hopefully that encourages others to join them every now and then. So if anybody wants to give me a thumbs up, let me know. I will go through the homework problems as well. Jeez, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to double check that this video didn't pause. The video paused again. Thank you, Avery. Yeah, it must be my Wi Fi. Alrighty. Um, okay, I'm going to go through, and let me write this out. I'm going to go through the homework now and hope I can save this video and post it on Canvas. Okay, so homework problems. The first problem, which has two parts to it, is what if we have the equation 0 equals negative y plus x squared minus 6x plus 2. Okay, well, what we got to do first on this one is we're going to get the y by itself because x is squared. So we get, move that over. We move the y over and we get x squared minus 6x plus 2. Now what we need to do is to factor the number out in front of the x squared term. But it's technically a 1, which actually works out really nicely. So we get y equals 1 and then x squared minus and then 6 divided by 1 is Okay, just got to know. Hopefully it's still working. Oh, this should be fun. All right, 6x plus blank squared, or not squared. And then we have our plus 2. And then we're going to have to do, so this is a positive 1, a minus 1 times that blank number. What goes in the blank number? That blank number is going to be the middle number which is negative 6 divided by 2 squared. So negative 6 divided by 2 is 3, negative 3, negative 3 squared is still a positive 9. So we're going to put 9's in there. So we're going to get y equals 1 times square root of x squared is x, keep the sign in the middle the same, minus the square root of 9 is 3. 
we put our squared. And then over here we got plus 2 minus 9. Negative 1 times 9 is negative 9. So our answer is 1x minus 3 squared minus 7. So or plus a negative 7. that. I'm going to pause. Hopefully my video starts working a little bit better. Alrighty. Okay. So the other part, the next question on your Canvas quiz, which is the same question, but just now tell me the important information. So we're going to look back at this. Remember, this number here is our y equals a x minus h squared plus k. We're going to go through these things. Which remember, all your formulas are on your notes. The vertex for a y equals. We can always go back. We can find these on our notes here. y equals a vertex is at h k. which in this case, if we look back down here, h is 3, our k is negative 7. Next, we have our focus, which is at h k plus 1 over 4a. So that's going to be 3 comma negative 7 plus 1 over 4. A is 1. So that's 3 and then negative 7 plus 1 fourth, which as a decimal is 3 comma negative 6.75. And then the directrix. is at the point or at the equation y equals k minus 1 over 4a which is negative 7 minus 1 over 4 times 1 which when we plug that into a calculator is just y equals negative 7.25 alright so two answers on the homework We'll do one more. I'm going to hopefully be able to post this video on Canvas. I'll check that out right after this. Okay. Next one's a little bit of a curveball. But hey, if you're on Instagram Live and you're watching these videos, it shouldn't be any problem. All right, we got 0 equals negative x plus 0.1y squared plus 0.12y plus 5.6. Well, you can see that. Okay. This problem, we need to get the x by itself because the y is squared. So we're going to move that x over. We get x equals 0.1y squared plus 1.2y plus 5.6. All right, next we're going to factor out the number by the squared term. So we leave the x alone. We're going to factor out a 0.1. That becomes y squared. If I divide 0.1 by, okay, it becomes 1. All right, if I take 1.2 divided by 0.1, it actually becomes a 12. We put our plus blank and then plus 5.6 and then we need to make sure we cancel out this blank here minus 0.1 times blank can you guys see that okay what numbers go in that blank that blank number is going to be that middle number 12 divided by 2 squared 12 divided by 2 is 6 6 squared is 36 so I'm going to put 36 there so this becomes x equals 0.1 times 
y, remember we're going to start square rooting here, y squared square root is y, plus is still in the middle, and then six, 36 squared is 6 squared, and then we got a plus 5.6 minus 0 0.1 times 36 is 3.6. So our final equation answer here is, I'm going to write this as a fraction, 0.1 is 1 tenth, y plus 6 squared, and then this over here becomes what, 2? There we go. Okay, oh man, it's putting on a lot of heat. Okay, so now what we need to do is find those points. The very last question here is, okay, now that we have this equation, can we find the vertex? which I'm going to just do one at a time. Actually, I'll try to do a couple here. All right, the vertex, if we look, we have to be careful here, is that if this was in standard form, we're using the x equals now because our equation is an x equals. So we're going to have to look at this one. Be careful here. It is x equals a, which is 1 tenth, y minus, not h, but k, and then plus h. So a vertex, which is still at h, k, becomes a little bit different. Our vertex, which is h, k, is now at h is 2, k is negative 6. All righty, and then we got to get the focus. We got to double check here because we are having a different equation. We got to look at this set of notes here. Our focus is at h plus one fourth a k. So that's a little bit different. h plus one four a k. So our h is two plus one fourth times one tenth. Ooh, that's going to be fun. And then k is negative 6. All right, calculator time. All right, first thing I'm going to do is, okay, two, may I'll just plug this in. 2 plus 1 divided by 4 times 1 divided by 10. Close up, close up. I think that's in. Get 4.5. Yeah, because that's 0.4, just 2 over 5. So flip it around 5 or 2. Yeah, that's right. So our focus is at... 4.5, negative 6. And then the last thing we need to do, which is the direct tricks. This is the last problem. Is x equals, right here, h minus 1 over 4a, which is h is 2, but now we're going to have minus 1 over 4 times 1 over 10. We can go ahead and plug that into the calculator. I'm just going to write it here where I have a little bit of room. We get x equals, uh, let's see, this would be 2 minus 2.5, which is a negative 0.5. All right, so if you watch this entire video, we just went through all the notes and the homework problem, and it's been a while. Um, yeah. So hopefully these videos aren't usually this long. But they could be, if, especially this is the tough part of this whole chapter. Um, when we get to circles, it'll be the same thing. Tomorrow, we're doing the exact same thing. So if you struggled with this today, hopefully tomorrow, it'd be a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to try to post this video again on the Canvas page in case this worked. But um, good luck. Thank you for joining me. Any questions? I'll leave this open for a couple, like another minute here. probably can't hear me either. The video paused. All right. Well, I'm going to end this. Save it.